channel down. Um, I did have Monster Hunter, Hearthstone, and other videos of that nature. Um, but I've condensed it down to solely just Vanguard Zero. Uh, well, as a matter of fact, I do have one Monster Hunter Rise video up. But if you guys want to check that out, please um, go go on there and uh, give the channel some love, guys. Um, let's see. Let's put this back. Let's keep. I um, actually want to put that back. I don't want that in the hand. We'll keep the other three. Ooh, this is bad. No grade three. Ooh, goals versus goals. The question is, what kind of gold paladin deck is one playing? Because right now it looks like we're playing the mirror. We're playing the mirror. Let's go, let's go. I'm really digging the new sleeves that they're giving us from, uh, from the actual TCG, man. I really love Gurgwit. He's one of my favorite gold paladins. Only thing would have been better is if they were given us a um, bluish flame sleeve. I really hope we get a bluish flame liberator sleeve at some point. Oof. Don't, don't, please don't let that be the card I'm going to have to ride as my grade three. Hopefully we get lucky and actually get the uh, the break ride. I'm actually hoping that I get Blea Barris. I don't actually want to get Gancelot if I can help it. All right, this is good battle. And go face. Ah, it's not right. All right, that's that's terrible. We got my spirit. Can't wait for the new support for gold pouting. Yeah, the new Liberator Garmore support is going to be really. It's going to be good. The only drawback to it is that you don't have any control over what you top deck. That's the only bad part. Like, it's good that the deck uh, can like fill the board for like two counter blasts, but um, and it actually feels pretty good. To actually, break right that. Oh, Danny with the follow. Welcome, welcome to Intaku. Thank you, thank you for the follow, man. All right, so. Lopier and Dendrain don't do squat force here, unfortunately. So I'm just going to go ahead and throw them down. Feels bad. Feels bad. Oh man, he has a stand. Now we gotta actually hit a trigger to pass. That's fine. That's a whip. The Knight Garmore Lib is pretty solid, counter to a lot of popular decks. The trick is not to use them on an empty field to minimize uh, their RNG impact. That's true. That's true. I mean, the the fact alone is that like it can just generate. It can generate a field, but it can replenish a not so completed field. And so, I mean, that does kind of mitigate some of the drawback of the the top deck. I think it would have been too broken, though. It would have been way too broken had they given it the Ezel ability to check the top four. Because then you could actually just make the perfect board state in a sense. Um, and at the same time, like, if you could superior call and check through the top four, you would be able to filter out your non-triggered cards and then, like, increase your chances of actually hitting a trigger during your drive check or your damage check. And I guess, like, in a sense, the way the game works, that would just be, like, way too, uh, way too broken. Way too broken. Especially because, like, if you break right over Gancelot with, um, Garmore, you're gonna power up at, you know, at least you're gonna guarantee you're gonna get three power-ups on top of the Vanguard power-up. Because sometimes that feels bad, like, when you can't, ooh, ooh, we actually got the Pelinor. Um, it feels bad, though, when you can't actually get the, uh, the power bonus to uh, sufficient supply of units on board. Ah, 
Somebody hit the heel and he's coming at me with the crit. They can mean a limit break. Okay. No heal for me. Polinor is so good. So, so good. This is going to suck, man, we can't get the, uh... I don't have a break right. Oh, but we do got the Ezel. We do got the Ezel. I'm a going for it. He gave it to us. We're going to go for it. My baby! Incandescent Lion Blonde Ezel! Alright, skill activate. Counter Blast 1, top 4. Ooh, there was the Blue Bears, but we're going to go for Bowman's. We need to get some uh, shields on board. Let's throw Bowman's here. Power to Ezel. Let's do it one more time. Skill. Ooh, Bowman's again. Or maybe we go Lop here. I think I want to go Lop here. Right? Lop here, win place from your deck. I can discard a card. And then look at the top three from the deck and call it. So I think I'm going to do that, maybe. Or no, no, no. I really don't. I don't want to. Let's do RNG base right now for my taste. Because I can just put Gareth behind him and it'll be. Everything will be alright. Um, I don't want to invoke it, actually. Surprisingly. All right, everything is right with the world. Let's go. Smack that in the face. Smack that in the face. And then we just go face. Ooh, coming in with a draw. Dope. Danny, big boy Ezel on the field. Yeah, man, Ezel is one of my all-time favorite cards. Uh, it just sucked because I never, I didn't actually get the, um, didn't get a whole play set of him at the time and place that he came out. Whew. Um, let's go. What is Juan sitting at? Do we have enough that we can actually justify playing Ezel? No, 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 no. Damn. Damn, 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 damn. I forgot he hit a trigger. Got <laughs> That feels bad. That feels bad. Oops. That's what I get for not paying attention. Because then we should have just gone for the Den Drain. Should have gone for the Den Drain, put it behind us, and got the draw. Oh, well. By the way, guys, welcome to Intake. It was a pleasure to have you out with us today. All right, that's fine. He's got he's got blaster dark glass up there, and I call it glass because I can throw anything at him. We'll kill it. We look at it the wrong way, and it dies. Just sucks, man. He's got us all the way to four. We really need to hit a heal. We've already seen. We've already seen what one. We got three in the deck though, so chances are are there. That's not a heal. That's not a heal. What? What are you doing? All right, so good thing is that we do got two CB, so we can actually do something with that. There's the damn Dendre now. <laughs> All right, so we'll ride skip. We're going to stay on Ezel at this point. Um, let's go ahead and activate ability. Welcome to the stream, Ditsy. Welcome. I do hope I said that right. Let's go. Blaster Dark Spirit for the win, baby. Let's go. <laughs> um, what do we want to kill? What do we want to kill? Let's kill that. Because we can fling anything at that. Like, I'm, uh, I'll tell you what, let's just throw the other Blaster Dark Spirit down. And we go faces the place. Swing blaster dark and blaster dark, because you know why not. It's unfortunate though, like we are severely behind. Hopefully we can hit a heal trigger here though. But it's bad. We take him to Lemon Break 4. He could still go into Ezel with himself. Or Platina. 
He could go into platinum. Of course, we draw the one, the one heal, <laughs> the one heal that we actually needed. Knight, it's it weirds the hell out of me that you and Final don't use stands on Ezel. Um, I had tried stands. It just feels weird, man. It feels weird. I don't, I don't like top decking. I don't like trying to like top deck into my cards. That, that's like the one drawback of the game versus the actual TCG, man. It's like the drive checks. Like, we can keep the drive checks. Oh, it'd be so good. It'd be so good. Alright, so he's got the Pelinor. But, still gotta go through my two great three, uh, twos. We got what? I don't think we die here. I don't, we don't die here, though. Oh, with the crit, but that's okay. That's okay. He's not hitting us, but I totally get why he's doing what he's doing. Have we seen any of his perfect guards? Nah, there's none there. There's one in the in the damage. What about his trigger lineup? Oh, we've seen all of his heals. We've seen all of his heals. All right, Stan goes back. We get two shots at this. We get two shots at this, guys. Ooh, pressure is real. Uh, we are not changing our Vanguard. Um, bu -bu -bu -bu. Let's go Bowman's. This makes an 18k column. That feels pretty good. Let's go ahead and put Lop here because he's not doing anything. We have no CB. So, um, yeah. Throw Lop here at the glass. That that dies. This is 18, 16. Oof. Let's just hope he doesn't hit a damage trigger. Oh, yes! We got the heal! We're going big, boys. We're going big. It's 23k right there. Oh, and we got the draw. Blue Your Bear is coming in on the clutch. If he's got a PG, that feels bad, but we still don't lose next turn. Let's see what happens. Has he got the PG? Yeah, he's got it. <clears throat> That's fun. I don't think we, I still don't think we die though. If he threatens us with crit, he's got to go through the lop here and the Bowman's. So he gets the power, they power up. That's dope. He gets the crit. All right, we don't die. We don't die here. We're safe. All right, so that's going to be 22k and a crit. And we're going to just... No! No! No, 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 no. What are you doing, Juan? No, no, no. All right, this is fine. This is fine. We still don't die. We still don't die. I mean, what are the chances that he's still holding on to two perfect guards? I think it's pretty safe to say that he's got at least one in, in hand. Right? Let's see his drop zone. We got one. Alright. Nope, 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 nope. Alright, let's activate Ezel's skill. Maybe we can get something good. Grade 2 would be preferable. Yes! Going the trip. Put trip. Oh, that's gonna be 16. It's 14. Uh, 15. All right. Put trip there. All right. Ezel gets power. And then we put Bowman's in front of Gareth. Then we go trip into trip. Because we are straight up tripping. And now we see how many perfect guards he's holding. <laughs> Damn you, Juan. Oh. Are you serious? One more time. Can we do it? Alright, that's a whiff. It's a whiff. Alright, comes down to this. Can he heal? I don't think he's got any heals left, though. I think we saw all of his heals. <laughs> Dope! Yes! 